Okay guys, here we are doing our barbecue freeze meals challenge. This is day one and we are making Tuscan chicken burgers. Mike's gonna help me because he's the guy that makes the burgers in our house. So he knows how to use our burger press very well. Um, yeah, can you start? Do it. Okay, so this is actually ground turkey that I got from Sobeys, I guess. So we haven't actually used this brand before, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay, so he was using the, the ceramic knife. Um, this is an older version, but we also have a new version that's black so that you don't see the stains or anything on it. These are super duper sharp. Be very careful with them. Um, not great for cutting meat or anything tough but it's really, really good for like delicate things like tomatoes, slices right through tomato, no problem. And it's awesome. Okay, so this is about a pound of meat, I guess. And we're gonna add the Tuscan chicken burger seasoning, which is only out for the summer. So this will likely be gone at the end of August, so make sure to grab it now if you want to give it a try. Okay, so he used this four-in-one spice spoon that we have. Um, it's just back in stock, so um, make sure to go grab it. It's got a tablespoon on this side, a teaspoon on this end, on the back is a half a teaspoon, and there's a little line for a quarter teaspoon as well. Okay. I could use a little bit of milk. Probably, yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit sticky. It's not, um, ground beef usually you don't have to really add anything to Together, but when you use turkey or chicken, um, sometimes it's really like kind of mushy. mushy. <laughs> so you gotta add something to make sure that it stays Binder. together. Yeah. So we just ground up some oatmeal. Um, so you can do that. Um, that's a good gluten free option if you have gluten free oatmeal. Or you can use any breadcrumbs that you have. Or grind up some croutons, that's really good to add some flavor three burgers as well. So we're going to use the burger press today. This is our, is it three in one burger press? Mm -hmm. So you can use this little guy to make sliders. Um, so you can fill that with your meat and then the bottom just pops out. So you just push it up from the bottom, pops out the burger and for easy cleanup. Then this comes apart and you'll put your meat in here for a regular size patty and then you just press it down with this. So we'll show you here. Okay so Mike just went and washed his hands and um, how much do you usually measure? Uh, I usually try to do about a third cup on the bottom layer and then a quarter on the top. So you just put some in like that and then we're going to press it down. Oh, now that's the stuff that I need. Yeah, I'm stuck in Don't you usually do this first and then do it? That's what he's doing. Okay, so the first one was quite sticky. We're going to give it a little spray with some oil. So hopefully it doesn't get so sticky next time.
Okay, so it makes a nice little divot like this. Can you see? And that's where you're gonna put the stuff that you wanna stuff in here. And today we're gonna to do with feta cheese. That's what our recipe calls for. So just like a little layer like that. And then you're gonna put more meat on top. And then when you put it together, this is going to reach all the way to the edge of the burger press. So it's just going to give you a regular flat burger. Perfect. And you just pop the bottom out, just like I showed you with the little one. And there you have it. So you just have to take the bottom piece off. So now you can put it on, what I like to do when I'm freezing, since we're doing freezing meals here, is we'll just layer them on a cutting mat like this, and then put them in the freezer and freeze them. And then when you take them out and put them into a bag, um, maybe put parchment paper between the layers if you're gonna be stacking them on top of each other. If we only have three or four, they'll probably all just fit in the bag flat. So we're gonna do a couple more. <laughs> smells so good. So this Tuscan chicken burger, this is new this year, and this is, I think, our second jar. Mm -hmm. It's so good, we love this stuff. So, um, I was gonna tell you what's in it. Okay, so garlic, tomato, onion, sumac, red bell pepper, herbs, sea salt, black pepper, and rosemary. So it's like Mediterranean flavors. It's not quite like a souvlaki burger, but um, like just really nice, really flavorful um, Mediterranean flavors. Uh, there's also a recipe on the jar for portobello mushroom burgers. So you brush four mushroom caps with olive oil and sprinkle with seasoning, grill until tender. So that's a good uh, vegetarian or vegan option. Um, the other thing I want to mention is these make really good meatballs. So if you're doing like turkey meatballs or something like that, just add some of this spice and that's all you need. It's super good. I wish you guys could smell and it. Chicken salad. Chicken salad? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we had uh, leftover roast chicken. Um, we just buy those like already roasted, like rotisserie chickens from the grocery store. And we had leftover meat from it. We just kind of like tear it apart and freeze the meat and use it as we need it. And he made chicken salad with it. Was it just mayo and pretty much just mayo and this spice. And it made a really good chicken salad. And then do these go in the dishwasher? Yep. Dishwasher. Yeah, so this is all dishwasher safe. Ceramic knives aren't supposed to go in the dishwasher. We do put it in the dish dishwasher, but it gets these little notches out of it. So not recommended. do you do if you're not stuffing it? Do you only do a third of a cup? I do a third of a cup for a pretty thick burger, but the kids like the quarter cup ones. They're kind of more like a store-bought burger size. Thing. So they're thin and then they kind of shrink up a little bit more as you cook them. But they cook fast and they're good for freezing and grabbing quick to go on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these we would freeze, uh, cook from frozen. How long do you think for like, chicken or turkey? You have to be a little more careful with chicken and turkey. Make to sure it's say on through. the barbecue, usually I cook them pretty high mm -hmm. to get a good char on them so they don't stick to the grill too much. So I probably do like six to eight minutes per side. Okay. Could be like about 20 minutes. Okay. This one's probably just going to be a regular burger. So we don't come in. That's fine. <laughs> sure, 
show you what a regular one looks like. Yeah, we'll show you what a regular one looks like. This is a third of a This is more what you would find in a square, like from the store. I think, hey? Yep. And that's all we use for out now. So I think that's it. So if you're freezing these, which is what the plan is, um, yeah, like I said, just freeze them flat on a baking sheet or a cooking, uh, cutting board like this uh, before you put them in your freezer bag. Um, or container, but if you can't, if you just want to quickly get everything in the fridge, make sure you at least put parchment paper or, or something in between them. So, thanks for watching day one, and we'll see you tomorrow.